Daddy's dungeon. Daddy's what? The fuck is Daddy's dungeon? Daddy's dungeon. <laughs> Daddy's fucking dungeon. All of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? <laughs> I feel like, I feel like you're not like a super sports guy, huh? No. Nah, dude. You just like the colors and shit? I like some teams, bro. Like, I like, um, let's see, bro. I barely started getting to football, like, last year. Got into the, or two years ago because of the Niners. Because I said that, like, if they, if they lose the Super Bowl, I'll become a Niners fan. Yeah. I was like, fuck yeah. So, I'm a Niners fan now, bro. Debo Samuels all day, bro. Also, now you're, oh, you're hey. hoping they're going to win. You got a jersey and everything? I see. Hell no, bro. I'm not going to spend money on that shit. This would be sick. I even buy V-Bucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you game all the time or what? Sometimes, yeah. Me and my boss will game and shit. We'll hop on it. Damn, I got this shit dirty as fuck. It looks good. good. Uh, so here and there, bro, if I'm feeling lucky. Like, I'll play uh, 21 or some shit. If I'm in Vegas, I'll play War. I've lost a lot of money, bro, in Vegas. Really? I've never See, even been to Vegas. See, I've, I've never even, I've never spent a single cent gambling. <laughs> actually, I lied. Actually, you did scratches are gambling. Oh, uh, that's time. true. Scratchers are gambling. I won like twenty bucks on a scratcher. That was pretty fucking sick. I like scratchers, bro. They're addictive as fuck. <laughs> I got, I got I bad scratchers luck with scratchers shit. because. Everyone at work, for some reason, they just know. They're like, hey, just go rub it on him and you'll win. And they yeah. always fucking win. And then I get a ticket and I'm like, rub it? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? Nothing. Fuck, waste of a scratcher, bro. Oh, man. Maybe you got the wrong scratcher. I know. And then one time, uh, my friend was like, oh, yeah, you owe me like five bucks, but just buy me a $5 scratcher. I was like, I got you. And, yeah. he's, and I got two of them. I was like, which one do you want? And he's like, no, you pick. So I picked. And he won $100. I was like, fuck, huh? <laughs> $5 turned into 100 bones, yeah, bro. You should have been like, all right, well, give me 95 back, dog. Like, I bought the scratcher, dude. Do you think there's a method to all that? Like, to find a way to to find it, the winning ticket every time? I know, time? like, uh, there's a lot of old heads over here at the liquor store. Yeah. They always buy it in odd numbers. Yeah. Or they'll find a store that has a lot of winnings, and they'll go to that store. They'll literally look that shit up, dude. Like, Powerball and shit like that. But don't you get, like, kind of caught up with that? You can. Bro. Is that illegal? It totally. Cause why? Cause the guy, the, the guy's buying all the tickets, probably scan all of them, and say, "Oh, here's." <laughs> yeah, type <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> Honestly, I would do the same thing. <laughs> That's free money, bro. If you first scamming banks and shit, I'm pretty sure the lottery is easier, bro. Fuck. I know, but I feel like if you win too much, you get caught. But that's when you get, like, a whole string of all the liquor stores together. Yeah. It's like, hey, I got you, bro. The fucking IRS you going to get their money, bro. You can't cheat. Absolutely. Can't. Hey, if There's the mob, no if the mob did it for years, all these freaking you Indian people can, can do it. That shit, bro. Yeah. No way. You can? Uh, probably. Maybe if you're fucking into real estate or something, you know, tax write-offs. But fuck, bro. That's the lottery you fucking with, bro. That's the IRS money. They're gonna get theirs for sure. I wonder how much are the IRS right now. I haven't even looked. I have to check that shit what out. What do you mean? I haven't done my taxes. Oh, uh, you're not even due for another month. All right, I'm checking. I haven't done mine either. Yeah. <laughs> I, just, I, just, I just got my W 2s. Last day. Turbo tax. Uh, hell yeah. Last day, I'll just get it done. And on the very last cut line, bro. <laughs> taxes, bro. Like a typical fucking man. Dude, I've seen some shit like. Uh, like this guy, he was at court, right? Mm -hmm. On one of those TV courts. And the lady was like, oh, so like how much did you make last year on your taxes? And he was like, what do you mean? And she was like, how much like money did it yeah. say you made? And he was like, oh, I just, I don't, I don't do it. I just give it to my, my, like they take the taxes out what? every check. And she's like, so you never file taxes. And then he's like starting to sweat. Oh, and he's like, dude. no, he's like, no, they take the taxes out every check. And <laughs> she was like, no, no, you still have to file taxes at the end of the year. Oh. So she's like, for the past 18 years, you haven't done it. And he was like, uh uh. And I was like, bro, he's going to get got. Bro, I mean, yeah. he's either going to get got or he has a lot of money of tax returns just sitting on him that he needs to get, bro. He's fucking, he, he's juking himself out of his own money, bro. No, Jeffy. I don't think he's going to get money at this point. He's done for life. <laughs> Dude, they go to jail for that shit. It set his ass to Alcatraz, bro. Just for that shit, bro. He's done for life. That's you can probably kill someone and you have a better sentence than that fucker. Low key. That guy is probably fucked. Dude, 18 years of no no taxes is crazy. <laughs> oh, that's like... How much money is that? And it sounded like he was rich, too. Dude, that's probably more than... Nah, but see, if you're rich, you would know about taxes. You would know about that shit. What, what if you just like... Like, what if you're just one of the bros, you know? And you just came up. 
He, maybe he was like that old man that all his kids and his wife looked after his whole life. You know what I mean? Or what if like his dad gave him money, you know? Because he, he was a younger guy, like in his 30s. Oh, yeah, bro. It was probably generational wealth. Yeah. So his dad probably so. gave him a gang of money and he just like, oh, yeah, you have to run this little business for me, though. Because yeah. he didn't know anything about it. I'm going to teach you something about life, but I'm going to have to give you a small loan of a million dollars, you know? That'd be, that'd, <laughs> that'd be sick, though. That's probably what it, that's probably what it was. Hell yeah, dude. Imagine getting a loan of a million dollars. What would you do with a loan of a million dollars? Fuck, bro. I'd buy a bunch of whiskey, like Blue Label, Mineral Water. <laughs> probably like a bunch of shit. Plus a whiskey? Hell yeah, bro. I'd probably buy a Lambo. Damn. <laughs> blow it. <laughs> yeah, Just blow it off. I, bro. I didn't have it before this. So <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, bro. <laughs> That's the best answer I've ever heard. Bro, because people are, people are going to tell you some bullshit like, oh, I'm going to invest into real estate. Oh, I'm going to invest into oh stocks, bro. Shut the fuck up, bro. If you don't buy Horakin, dude, <laughs> like, or some shit, bro, you know. Oh, my God. He's going to buy designer. That's the best answer I've heard so on, on that ever. I would probably wouldn't even buy designer. I'd probably buy, like... Lambo for sure, though. Lambo for sure. For sure, dude. What about Ferrari? Drugs over a designer, for sure. I'd probably buy, like, d like some rich people drugs. I'd probably find Quaaludes or something, bro. <laughs> Those ones off of fucking Wolf of Wall Street and yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, I'd probably try some of that shit, find it. Wow. You'd run it you'd just run like a penthouse in Vegas and just chill. Yeah, probably, bro. Or I How long would it last? In a, in a cabin. It wouldn't last, bro. It wouldn't last me like not even a weekend, bro. <laughs> I promise you I could shit that shit out. Really? Hell yeah, bro. I'm blowing two thousand bucks in like an hour. Yeah, I mean I feel like now nowadays that that type of money it's not really that hard to spend. It's not shit, bro. A million dollars? Uh, you can think about like 500, 500 grand on a fucking car. 500 grand? Yeah, that's already half. Yeah, wow. that's not that much. Bro, and then if you have a girl, there goes the other half right there, bro. That's like... That's where the designer's at. Yeah, that's where like you're going to spend the Chanel shit, yeah. But a million bucks, bro? That's not nothing, bro. That's milk and cookies right now. For car, real estate. drugs, and women. That's... Yeah. He's, and you live, you're living and alcohol. Li and alcohol. You're living life. And it's only going to last maybe like a week. Maybe like two weeks top. But how much would the alcohol last? That's a lot of alcohol. Fuck, bro. That's that's a that's a few years maybe. I could party, dude. Probably like a good month, maybe. I'll probably stop though, cause like I'm not gonna keep drinking the alcohol if the if the ambiance isn't there. You know what I mean? <laughs> if so the you like party's gone. Yeah, if the money ran out, bro, and bitches are gone, bro, <laughs> the drugs are gone, bro. <laughs> it's it's like, that sad scene. <laughs> you're sitting by the pool, you know you. He's just kind of all dirty. Yeah. All the money's gone. That's where you become an alcoholic right there. Yeah, Whenever one's gone, he's like, fuck, I gotta... He's like, you gotta drink it somehow, huh? Yeah. <laughs> fucking void, bro. The fucking... <laughs> Someone's gotta drink this $300 blue label, bro. You know? But yeah, that's pretty much what I would do. Fuck, I'd probably buy a jetpack, too. We didn't even introduce you, bro. We just got right into it, guys. I don't even know your real name. My real name is Esteban... Esteban. Yeah, but everyone calls me Jabongs. Jabonks. I uh, see. I know go. he has Jabonky Donkey. Yeah, yeah. People call me that too. Whatever's clever. It was a little nickname I got when I was a kid. They just it just stuck, and then next thing you know, he gave it to you. Uh, bro. Everyone on my block did. I called uh one of my homies. We used to kick it. His name was Giovanni, and he would get bullied all the time. The kids would be like, "Fuck you, Jabonky." They'd like <laughs> fucking beat the shit out of him and shit. I'd be like, "Bro, that's a cool name, bro." Y'all gotta call me that shit. And then they ended up calling me that shit. I was like, fuck. Then it just stuck, bro. I was like in sixth grade. It's stuck since, dude. Jabonk. It's never going away. Nicknames are badass, bro. Dude, my nickname was Fat Fuck. Me too. What's up, Fat That's Fuck? That's my nickname right now. That's the homies call me. Or Lardass. Lardass? <laughs> nicknames, are, nicknames are badass. Yeah. I love nicknames. What, what's your nickname? Hoser. Chepe. Chepe. Chepe, yeah, that's, that's like an OG. OG. That's the family nickname that's right there. First nickname yeah. right there. Like, I came out, that's Chepe. That's that's normally a name they give to Jose, no? Like, uh, Chepe and Chetos. Yeah, but it doesn't really make sense, because nicknames should be kind of like something shorter. Yeah. But this okay. one. Okay, let me ask y'all if y'all know this. Why is uh, a Jose Maria called Chema? What's that about? Uh, makes no sense. And why no is a sense. man named Jose Maria? <sighs> that's probably his last name. See, like, like my grandpa, his name is Guadalupe. Yeah, that's his last name? Yeah. Oh, that's his first name? Yeah, that's his first name. His first name is Guadalupe. Yeah. That's fucking gangster. I wouldn't want to fuck with someone named Guadalupe, bro. I like mean, a grown man named Guadalupe. I want to no, fuck with that guy. He's like, <laughs> he's like 89 or 90 years old. Who knows? Oh, he's yeah. still working on the ranch shit. You can't knock on his door. He's going to fucking pull with a shotgun, bro. Fuck. That's that old fucking... 
old timer Mexican. Right yeah, there. bro, that's they're terco, bro. Like that's old so Mexicans awesome. are hard headed too. They're awesome. My dad's hard headed as fuck. There is this, uh, there's this guy in my work. His name's Nico. Super hard headed, right? And anytime like I'd walk, like I'd walk by, he go bend that hole every fucking time. Yeah. And then uh, one, day, <laughs> <laughs> one day like our boss invited us out, right? And it's like for a Canelo fight versus Triple G. Oh yeah, that was a while ago. Uh huh. We're playing pool. We're paying twenty bucks a person, uh-huh. and somehow I got on this team. And I'm like good at pool, so I cleared the whole table, and we won all the money. He gave me a fucking hug, and never, never again called me that. Oh, and yeah. we're like best friends at work now. <laughs> He's like, Hey Dylan, qué pasó con los Broncos? Ah. I'm like, uh, I'm like, y'all fucking suck, dude. He said, uh, he already knew, bro. Yeah, so Fuck the Broncos. Man. He loves the Broncos, He's but they a, fucking suck. No fucking way, bro. He's a Mexican, the Broncos. Oh, well, they got hella, they got hella Mexicans in Denver. And Hell shit. yeah. Yeah. So, so many. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A bunch of Mexicans in Colorado. Bro, I went to Oklahoma and there was Mexican. We sold out a whole arena in Oklahoma, bro. A fucking arena in Oklahoma. Tell, tell the people who we is. Uh, uh, work. Uh, I'm a personal assistant for Fuerza Regida, uh, Mexican band. Fire. Yeah, they're cool. These guys like to party. How was it like touring with them and stuff? It was cool, dude. I I got to see a lot of shit, man. I got to see a lot of states in the U.S. I pretty much visited almost every single state in the U.S. Fuck. Stayed at nice hotels. You know, they they really took care of me. They gave me the princess treatment for sure. Yeah, even hooking you up with some merch and everything. So like, yeah, dude, I gotta bring you guys some. I got some at the crib. I'll hook you guys up some hoodies. I gotta get your guys' sizes. I got y'all. Yeah, that was badass. That, no, that's fucking badass. Because right. yeah, because I remember we were supposed to link up like a year ago, mm-hmm. and you're like, "Oh, bro, I can't right now. I'm fucking on tour." And I was yeah. like, "No." I got put on it nasty. I was barely home, dude, and it sucked because I was in a relationship at the time. So I was like, home on the weekends. I had to juggle kicking it with her, kicking it with the family. It just, ugh, it was bullshit, bro. Now I'm living life. Now you know. So <laughs> how so? <laughs> how is it? How is it compared to another job that you've had before? Fuck, bro. I used to stack trailers like a beaner, dude, you know? Oh, fuck. Oh, in L.A.? In L.A.? Typical beaner, yeah, man. Breaking labor, yeah, bro, baby. Like, uh, I used to work for FedEx, bro, off of Haven right here in deep oh, Ontario. Yeah. I would stack trailers all day, bro. I'd stack, like, three trailers. Fuck. I would stack, like, mattress sets, like, fucking weight kits and I, shit. I used to work at UPS. I fucking quit that shit after that six shit's months. That shit's ass, huh? Ass. That and shit's ass. Shit I hated that shit. Well, well, it was night shift? Oh, oh bro, fuck. I'd get off at, like, two in the morning so that shit sucked bro you see like I'm partying at 2am bro I can't be getting off work at 2am dude it's not gonna happen it's not gonna work out unless they let me party at work dude and I don't think they'll let me party at UPS what kind of crazy shit did you see oh dude I could literally bro I remember I used to think like damn there's a lot of beautiful women I've never seen women like this before and so one day like my homie was like here bro pick pick up this rock dude and then throw it into the crowd and I guarantee you'll hit a bitch <laughs> and I was like yeah that's pretty crazy bro like I'm just there's so much women bro that you realize you're like damn not like it's hard to find the special one bro because they're all clones all the ones at the shows just yeah they're all clones bro they're fucking like zombies they just want to they just want to fuck them bro you'll see you'll see them come out like when i have to like like escort my boss out to his truck and we got to drive away you'll go out to the parking lot bro and it's just like mid like fucking like smoke everywhere people are lighting fireworks and shit there's like People drunk as fuck with vomit all over him, like walking around. It's zombie land, bro. Like at the arenas and shit. Yeah, like after the show, they get yeah, fucking so they, turned. So they like wait outside for him, bro. Yeah, all they're the hoping time. to like meet him and shit. Yeah, right? yeah all they're the hoping time, to get bro. the autograph. Dude, you get, bro. They'll come in, they'll bang on our door when we're trying to get out and shit, bro. It's it's fucking awesome. chaos, bro. Yeah, that must be pretty dangerous too, bro. It is dangerous as fuck. I'm almost got myself into altercations like that, like just trying to drive and I can't like step on the gas because they're blocking me in. Uh-huh. It's scary as fuck. Or you get them in a choco dog. Yeah, I have a couple times. I've put some guys out at like try to hop on stage, but when you're driving, bro, I'll just be baked as fuck and I'll just see like all the zombies everywhere. I'm like, damn, bro, this could get dangerous real quick. Real dude. quick. Did you watch UFC at all? Yeah, I watch it here and there whenever, like, my coach will invite me to, like, they're watching the fight or something. But I'll only watch it if I have barbecue, bro. Like, if I don't have nothing to eat, I'm not going to sit there and watch it, bro. Because you know who Robbie Lawler is? He's, like, an OG. Yeah, yeah. They were, like, surrounding his bus. They were, like, trying to stop, like, the cars for, like, one of those, like, stop driving car shit. Yeah, yeah. And everyone's, like, freaking out. And he was, like, 
save your energy just in case we have to fight them and i was like oh he would have fucking tore through all of them bro like, all of them up it's like it's like six usc fighters in that car they the, fuck all of them up like, like it was moderate, a protest dude. it was a protest there you go oh, okay. i forgot what it was called sick ass one i would have i would have fucking <laughs> picked one of them up by the neck if i was him and i would have been like this is gonna happen to y'all bro bro like hell no how long have you been training jiu-jitsu for <sighs> fuck like a good two years now that's it? Yeah, I took some time off because I got heel hooked pretty bad, so my knee got pretty smoked. But I'm back on now. I went, my first day was yesterday, bro. I was back on yesterday. Really? Yeah. That That's a, the same exact reason why I'm done. Yeah, bro. It's because I kept coming back, and my knee kept hurting more. And so one day I was like, this shit's not going to get better, bro. So I showed up anyways, and it, it was fine. I just got to not get heel hooked, bro. That's the only thing. That's fucking crazy. You got to let people know, bro. Or else yeah, it's fucking rule, dude. Yeah. Kind of, no? Well, I mean, like, you don't get nobody, like, knee bars and stuff. Just do whatever the fuck you want, bro. That's what I. That's how I think of it. Like, if we're going to run a jiu-jitsu gym, don't tell your students what they can't and can't do. Yeah, it's 10th Planet. That's a big fucking gym. Yeah, bro, you got to do whatever the fuck you can to get that tap. Just don't be a dick, you know? Like, yeah. like if you're training at the gym with your partner, like, don't fucking smother his face, bro. Don't gas mask him. Don't put your hand over his you're face. You're just training. Yeah, exactly, bro. We're not competing right now. What about... Can you guys, like... Fucking dig in their eyes? Nah, I wouldn't do that. That's yeah. fucked up too. Cause I saw, like no, but I mean like in a in like actual like jujitsu fight. You can do it on accident. Look, this is how jujitsu is, bro. You can do it on accident, and then say, "Oh, it was an accident, bro. My bad." And if the guy's like eyeballs on the mat, he forfeits, bro. <laughs> and then you fucking win. Yeah. That's how jujitsu is, bro. I'm like a, I saw I've, some shit like that. Have you been seeing that new jujitsu that's going around where like they they're including the slapping and shit like that? Yeah, yeah. The, Dude, that's um, funny. The fucking yeah, contact jujitsu or something. Slap jitsu. Like that. That's what we call it. Some shit, huh? Slap jitsu. Is that what? It <laughs> that, sounds that sounds better. That sounds better. Smack the fuck out. <laughs> Trademark. Trademark that shit right now. <laughs> Eddie Bravo, bro. Watch out, dude. Yeah, yeah. Coming for you. How'd you even get into like the that scene? Um, like how did that even like? How did you did you bro, apply? Like what? Two years ago, I was like almost three hundred pounds, bro. I was like two seventy or something like that. It was huge. Playing fucking PS or PlayStation, eating pizza. Like I was really down, bro. I felt like a shitty ass just lob. And then um, I was talking to my cousin one day because he gave me mushrooms. My cousin's a mycologist, so he gave me mushrooms. I was just chilling with him. I'm like. Bro, I want to do some John Wick shit, dude. Like, I always wanted to do some John Wick shit. And he goes, oh, my brother has a 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu gym. That's uh, John Jock Machado. He taught John Wick, bro. And I was sold, bro. The next day I showed up and I got fucked up by some little kid who was like 17, dude. And he was like 100 pounds, bro. He was so skinny. He fucking demolished me this kid had everything handed to him his mom bought him a badass beamer like this kid would go to like sick ass church trips and shit you fuck yeah. him up now you fuck him up now bro hell yeah I'd fucking demolish that kid now <laughs> and did you hear about jujitsu before then nah bro i didn't know shit about jujitsu before then and it's crazy because like that shit, once i got my ass beat i came that same night bro i was like fuck yeah i gotta come back again if this kid could do it to me i could do it that's what you say and uh, my neighbor is a black belt jujitsu, bro. He's a uh, black belt for Gracie Baja. He's a beast, dude. He's uh, gone up against a bunch of like, like pros now. And my whole life, my dad would just tell me like, "Oh, Adrian, he does karate, dude." <laughs> <laughs> I'd just be like, "Oh, fuck karate, bro. I don't want to do karate." Years later, I found out he's a black belt jujitsu. So he's my gi coach too. So I do no gi and gi. Oh but, fuck. Yeah, he's he's a cool ass dude. He's very chill. He's a surfer guy. Dude, it's crazy because it's like nowadays you can't even tell who who does what. You know who like, trains, bro. Yeah. You don't know who trains. Definitely dude. don't train. That's why I don't pick fights with no one, bro. If I'm at a bar or something and some guy's looking like he's pissed, he's he's probably beating the shit out of his girl or something. I'm not gonna stop that, bro. What if it was like a group of you doing it though? I'd stop him. Yeah, if it was like a, they're bullying a, like someone. No, 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 I mean like, say you were with a group of people. Uh -huh. And like you saw that shit. Oh, I still wouldn't stop it, bro. Damn. Yeah, I would just let it happen, bro. Why are you gonna stop? Why beating this chick? Yeah, why are you gonna stop that, bro? She's just gonna get back with him tomorrow. Well, I mean, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> nah, I feel like I'm I would definitely. You, I would. I would. I, I feel like I'd say something. I've been in that situation so many times. It's not even worth it, bro. Damn. Yeah. yeah but so. see, you traveled a lot. I've only been to fucking. Utah, once. The only person that's gonna save that girl is that girl, bro. 
Or next thing you know, dude, it's kind of like you. It's kind of like you finding jujitsu. Bam. You gotta save yourself. Yeah, or just you know, fucking call the cops. You know what I mean? Like call the cops on that guy for truly. Scary. Fuck that guy. Yeah, fuck that guy, dude. Really? Fuck that yeah, guy. Fuck There's a reason why that's she. Ain't a, that's a smart. De- that's a smart decision. There's a reason why she ain't call the cops, bro. It's cause she gonna get back with him the next day. Yeah, that's true. That's crazy though. They like that shit. What is that called? Stockholm syndrome. They love that shit, bro. Whether you love your like abuser. But that's like your kidnapper, basically. Yeah, that's kid. I think that's kidnapper only. That's different. I don't know, bro. There's some girls out there that love that shit. They love. They still with the guy that leaves bruises on him every day. Look at like X's girl. XXX. Uh, He's beating the shit out of her all the time. He's beat the shit out of her when she was pregnant. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That too. Hey, but uh, X apologized for it, bro. Hey, rest in peace, bro. But I would assume. <laughs> Bro, he was beating her ass. <laughs> Bro, so was Famous Dex. They got a video of Famous Dex in a hotel, like, just beating the shit out of his girl, like, laying it on her. Damn. Yeah. See, but what does a girl got to do to, like, get a man to that point? I've never felt that before. Absolutely not. Yeah, like, no, I, I wouldn't do it. That's the difference. There's some girl. Yeah, I wouldn't do it either, but they could test your patience for sure, bro. Well, yeah, because I'm sure there's some, there's I mean, some like, crazy chicks out there that'll start, like, flying at your face and it's, throwing slaps yeah, at you. Yeah, bro, even. dude. That's fucked up. You know, and, yeah, that's um, fucked up and unwarranted. <laughs> See, so, oh. Like, that'll totally test your patience. It's like domestic violence and shit, you know? Bro, they love that shit. I remember one time I had, uh, I had, like, a fucking $5,000 chain, bro, like, gifted to me, and a girl broke that shit, bro. And I was so pissed, bro. She really tested my patience that day. I was like, oh. How'd she break it? She was just mad as fuck at me. She she threw it like it was in like a case, like in in something, and she threw it on the ground. She didn't know it was in there. It shattered everywhere. She didn't know it was in there. She didn't know it was in there, but I mean, she meant to throw whatever was in there on the ground, you know. Damn, dude. So I was hot, bro. But I'm like, I just charge it to the game, dude. I'll get another one. Fuck it. It's just it's not like she chopped my finger off or something. You know what I mean? That's true. I didn't, like, but then again, I, I mean, if she chop your finger off, it's like, same thing. Hey, call the cops, brother. Call the cops, dude. <laughs> hey, get out of here. She's fucking psycho. You see what I mean? There's psycho chicks out here, too, man. Hell yeah, there's some fucking crazy ass ones. There's violence chicks out yeah, here, dude. too. Yeah, dude. The homie domestic violence. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> but see, they love that shit. They love, they both go back to each other. That's, that's, that's fucking, that's you. fucked. That's fucked. That's what I'm telling you, bro. That's what it is. You just let him. You just let him do it. The most you can do. I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even say anything, bro. I just turn the cheek and walk by him. Like he could literally be stomping her out. I would walk by it. I don't care. <laughs> but like, I don't know, dude. Like I might be like, hey, bro, you should probably take that to the crib or something before you get in trouble, dog. I'm not even worried about your girl. Like you're gonna get in trouble, bro. You just don't want any conflict at all. At all, bro. I kind of respect it. I'm not trying to get shot. You're just kind of like, it. I just tunnel vision and like. Yeah, bro. That's why I don't wear my glasses, bro. I wear my glasses so I don't wear them so I don't have to see shit. I just walk, enjoy my day, dude. Totally fair. And if I if someone happens to recognize me, then they can come up to me and say what's up, you know, because I can't see shit. <laughs> and how how involved are you in like the whole flesh out of that world to where people can recognize you or not? I've had people like come up to me like at casinos when I'm with my boss and shit. We're gambling. I've had a people come up to me and be like, "Can I take Can I take a picture with you?" I'll be like, "Oh no, I'm not part of the band." Like, uh, he's the band member. Like, he's the musician. And they'll be like, "No, I know who you are. I want to take a picture with you. Can you sign my shirt too?" And I'll be like, "Oh, what the fuck?" So I'll sign bonks on their shit here and there. But it's random. I come out on their on their vlogs and stuff here and there. But I'm mostly just with my boss, like hands on with him. Whatever he needs, bro. Like he needs, he needs me to fold his clothes, wash his fucking chonies, whatever, dude. Everything. Everything. Got it. Hell yeah. Got his stat. He's fucking on it all the time. Yeah, but that's why they keep you around. That's the difference. Yeah, bro. Because if I wasn't on it, everyone's replaceable, dude. They'll tell you like, nobody has their job locked in. If you really want to make it, bro, you have to keep working for it. So how long you been with them? Uh, I started off with my boss like a year and a half ago. When I asked him, bro, when I first met him, I met him at jujitsu. Nobody would talk to him. Oh, shit. And I, yeah, he, the, everyone was nervous. They didn't know who he was. He was just some guy that came in and like paid for like a year or two right off the spot. He's like, oh, yeah, bro, I got it. Just a stack of cash. <laughs> and I was like, who the fuck is this guy? Waited a couple days and I'm like, I'm going to ask this guy who wants to get a beer with me. So I asked him he wanted to get a beer. We went to go get a beer. And he told me, he's like, all right, Bunks, you can get whatever you want. 
I'm like, I invited you, bro. Like, what the fuck, you know? But before that, like, had you guys talked for a little bit or not? Yeah, like, kind of here and there. I would be his training partner because, like, I was already, like, I already had, like, a good idea of jujitsu. So, coach was just like, like, work with Sammy, you know, work with Sammy, make sure he understands. And then I started kicking in with him, bro. I'd get a beer with him every other day after class. And he was like, do you need a side job, bro? I was like, uh, yeah, I'm tired of fucking stacking trailers all day. So I started driving him. And then it got to the point where he's like, yeah, bro, I need you here with me at all times, bro. Awesome. So I had to quit. It's not even like he's like your boss. He's like a good friend now, huh? Yeah, he's like a big brother to me, actually. Aren't they from, like, Bloomington? They're all from the IE, so... I think my boss is from a uh, Rialto area, and then the rest of them are like, they're all San Bernardino cats. They're all from San Bernardino. Yeah, I think uh, the tuba is from, fuck, I don't even know where he's from. I think that food's from Miraloma. Because I heard something that they were like, a few of them went to like uh, Bloomington High School. Probably, yeah, there's a, a Fontana cats, like the homie Moy. He's, he plays like the big, they call it the Toloche, but it's like a bass guitar, but you just flip big it. A, yeah, big ass one. And he, I think he probably went to Bloomington High. And are they all original members? Do you know? Um, My bosses, the other guitarist is, they pretty much all are, bro. They pretty much all are, yeah. Isn't that like crazy that this like, it's like, who, like, everyone listening around is like, where the fuck is Bloomington at? They're yeah. probably looking it up right now, like a little ass city. Yeah, yeah, And it just became this, like, one of the biggest fucking bands right now. Fontana, dude. Fontana's getting big. People are making songs about Fontana and shit. I'm like, I remember Fontana used to be cheap. Like, people would move from over here because they couldn't afford it over here. They'd move to Fontana, you know? Now it's getting expensive as fuck. Oh, they're, that's everywhere. Dude. And they're like, they're building it up right now. Yeah, dude. Really good. Really good. So is Ontario, bro. We got a fucking top golf and shit in Ontario. Yeah, I went once and my hands got clammy because my hands get clammy sometimes. And I fucking launched the whole fucking stick, bro. The oh, fucking golf club. Man. And that dude, shit was like a helicopter. Because I get clammy too. And like, uh, he takes me to a driving range sometimes. Yeah. And he's good as fuck. That shit's fun, bro. You can smack him, bro. He's oh, got a good drive. He has like... He, like as straight as an arrow and then he just hits it straight and just far as fuck and everyone's like damn yeah it's funny like the last time i went there's people like damn bro you hit it good as fuck (laughs) he's all driving it over the damn fence and shit onto me like i hit it like five feet into the fucking hole bro every time i hit them like they always fly right or they fly left i gotta work on my golf swing dude that's what it is Uh, yeah my biggest fear is fucking letting that thing fly because then it's like do i gotta go out there and get it or is like someone in the thing and you get it what the fuck (laughs) he told me they were like are you using your golf clubs? And I was like, nah, they're yours. And she goes, oh, you're fine then. If they were yours, you would have to come at the end of the night to come pick them up. I'm like, oh, it's, and so don't bring your own golf clubs if you have clammy hands, bro. Dude, that'd be pretty badass if they told you, like, hey, man, go get go, it. Go, go fucking grab it. it. Or, or they're all smoking me in the head with the golf balls and shit, bro. Yeah, that, that'd be pretty crazy, dude. You got, like, fucking armor on and shit? Yeah, bro, that's why, like... I, every time I see that little car on the golf fucking course or whatever, like I always try to hit it, like at at uh at fucking Top Golf, you know how they have like that fucking car that picks up all the yeah, golf balls. Yeah, yeah. I always try to hit that shit, bro. I'd love to take a ride in that shit. I heard I heard that they hate it though. Like oh, the when driver, you yeah. When you hit them, because they just hear it like doof. And well, because I'm sure I it's have loud the as fuck, sure. dude. Hell yeah. yeah. I'm sure it's loud as hell. It's right next to your ear. <laughs> Just smacking metal and shit. Like gunshots, bro. Fuck that. And you know people are doing it because like, oh, fuck this guy. I want to hit this Yeah, I'm going to hit this piece of shit. And they yeah, fucking paint it. Guy, you know? They paint it bright as fuck too. Like, I, I have to hit it. That's the difference. I have to hit it. Yeah, bro. I mean... I don't know how women think, bro, but when guys think, like, there's fucking something flying in front of, like, a golf fucking, you know, like, you want to hit that it's shit, bro. It's like those Instagram videos where, like, they throw, like, rocks off hills and shit and yeah, it starts rolling. Bro. That's just awesome. You see that shit? They throw a big-ass rock into a lake or something? Yeah. That's a man shit right there. The big old things of ice. Yeah, I love that shit, bro. <laughs> bro, fuck UFC, bro. I can watch that shit all day, dude. <laughs> Skip bake to the I beer. You're like a you're like a meme lord on fucking Instagram. I like memes, bro. Oh, you post some funny ass shit on your story. Some I love that shit. shit. Yeah. Yeah, bro. I got a good meme team, bro. They just find me good shit and I Is post it. For you guys? Hell yeah. Got one of my best buds, my homie Scott, bro. Shout out to that guy. That guy is meme lord, bro. He, he's a he's the fucking one in there all day. Oh, dude, that, that used to be is, me. Remember that shit? That guy. No, that was the one I funny. 
back yeah. in uh, yeah, on back, the iFunny. Bro, back in like junior high, I was days. fucking iFunny all day. I was iPhone four days. I had an iPod. I, had yeah, iPod I, didn't, touch. I didn't have a phone then. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, that was even did that? They had probably had like the iPhone one or two back it was then. Like 2011. I don't know when the iPhone came. The iPhone came out for sure. The iPod Touch was fire when you jailbreak that shit. That shit was gas. I thought I had it jailbroken one time, and my dad fucking screamed at me. He's like, "Who the fuck charged my credit card?" I was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> Angry Birds, two thousand dollars. Like was going through everything was going through. My dad's oh, like, "Who the fuck?" Like, temple, temple. Yeah, dude, shit, I felt bad. Bro. I felt so bad. How much did you use? I don't I remember. It was a couple hundred for sure. Bro, my dad would have fucking hung me by my underwear. <laughs> Dude, I oh yeah, I never I never ha- even had the thought of going into my parents' drawers or anything like that for money or anything. Bro, <laughs> my parents wouldn't even like plug their credit card onto anything. I wanted Xbox Live. My parents would not do that. I'd be so like, you had, like you know, the Yeah, and buy the credit card like the little Xbox cards. With cash, too. I'd be so pissed. I'm like, bro, just run your car, bro. Here's the money. I'll pay you for a whole year. Yeah, they think they're going to get scammed or something, huh? No shit like that happens. All of that, too. That's yeah, true. Yeah. See? There's kids that, like... Are your parents from here? My parents are from, uh, Mexicali. So it's, uh... I want to say three hours down if you take the 10 south. Okay. So heading towards there, like, uh... It's like Baja, California. It's kind of like TJ and shit. It's nice. I like it. It's more west of TJ now? Yeah. How often do you go out there to Mexico? I just went like two weeks ago to go visit my grandma and shit. But with the ban, probably every so often because I didn't have my passport, bro. Now I got my passport, so I'm going with them everywhere now. Oh, I'm going to Guatemala and shit. Oh, they do international too, huh? Yeah, bro. They were just in um, Puerto Rico or Dominican Republic, I want to say, a couple months ago. They were doing a song out there. Guys are huge, dude. They're so, they're getting big. Like when you guys did like the tour in the U.S., it kind of, they also went to Mexico, no? Yeah, yeah. So we had a tour, fly? U.S. tour. Yeah, they fly. fly. They well, they have their own private jet. Bro, that's fucking badass. Set solid. I I that's hate awesome. that thing. Really? You hate it? I don't like it. You don't like planes? I love planes, bro. I just don't. That private jet is just like. I don't know, because it's just too tall. I mean, it's too small, bro. Like, I like, and there's a gang of you in there. Yeah, sometimes there's like five or seven of us in there, and you're like, ah, bro. Would you prefer plane ride or boat ride? One of them forever. Plane, for plane sure. For sure. I'm not, I don't think that should be a question. You can't even do, like, first class on a boat's probably asshole. <laughs> <laughs> no point. Yeah. First class on a boat is asshole. Yeah, that's probably ass, bro. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, fuck. Good. Next thing you know, you're fucking Titanic. Yeah. It's like for and one. you're looking at a little fucking... See, but then what happens if, like, you're there. 9-11 or something? You know, you're right. You're totally right. Would... Yeah, but at least you don't drown to death, you know? You just kind of quick. Okay, so yeah. would you rather burn alive or drown to death? If you had to choose. I don't know, bro, because I heard, like, if you just try to fucking, like, breathe in the water and drink the water, you could probably kill yourself easier. Yeah. So I'll probably do that, but... That's exactly what I said. You run out of air and you start breathing the water and you're out. Like, yeah. it's just think about it like a chokehold, bro. You're <sighs> done. I've been put out before, bro. It's no different. How, is that? how, does, that, how does that feel, though? Well, I, I bet it fucking sucks. You see the fucking light and shit, probably, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's probably terrible, but also burning alive, I think it's ten times worse. But I've heard somewhere that it's so hot that you don't even feel that shit anymore. Oh, bro, you feel that shit. <laughs> I promise you, you feel that shit, bro. Like, don't you hear, like, the, the stories of, like, people screaming and shit? And the, yeah, bro, what the fuck? You know? I'll start fucking twerking, dude, if I was on fire and <laughs> shit. You try to put that shit yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> like, shake my ass off, bro. Like those fucking games where you gotta get the ping pong balls out the little yeah, uh, bro. Kleenex boxes. <laughs> oh, dude, that'd be so funny. Man. Oh, that wouldn't be funny. I'm sorry. That was fucked up. That would be fucking... That should be fucking hilarious. So, let's be real. Let's be real. Bro, be funny as fuck. This house goes up in flames, right? And this house goes up in flames. And I'm sorry to say, there's a family in there, right? But the dad... Dad... Everyone makes it safe out, you know? Except for Jabonks, and he's twerking in the fucking house. <laughs> but you see him running out, flailing his arms on fucking fire, bro. And he just stops and starts shaking it. Just shake that fire off, dog. He went to fire fire with, like, a body cam on, walking in. He's like, stop, drop, and roll. Just fucking do the meanest arc of my life, dude, you know? Your clothes that burned off your body, and it's just your bare fucking skin. Your cock is out everywhere. Not even, bro, like, your skin's, like, peeling off now. Like, it's all pink and shit. <laughs> it gets bad, bro. Being burned alive sucks dick, dude. Honestly, drowning is the way to go. Yeah. We talked we talk about a lot. Know. We talked a lot about know. dying lately. On the I pod. feel like I'm still with the fucking burning alive. 
That's what they do in India. No, they burn their their fucking wives alive or some shit like that. Well, that's what the guy did on the uh, Rage, Rage Against the Machine. Oh. That's what he burned himself alive. He yeah. lit himself he on fire. Monk, was or... What the? He was a monk. He did he did it out of a uh, protest. Yeah. He lit himself on fire, bro. Right you, in the do street. You think, do you think that did anything though? I know, like that photo went viral, right? I think, <coughs> I think it was pretty badass. It, yeah. it is badass, but I think what it did was just kind of shocked. The, yeah, you know. Shout out to that guy from Rage Against, bro. That guy's yeah, a he, fucking beast, bro. He took one for the team, heavy. Yeah, yeah, bro. He's the reason why the Matrix went so fucking hard, bro. Really? Hell yeah, dude. They play Rage Against at the end of the Matrix, dude. That's how you know that fucking movie was sick. Jose hates Keanu Reeves. Hate Keanu Reeves. Why is that? He doesn't like his John Wick shit either. No, You're a John fucking Wick, hater, John Wick bro. Dope. John Wick's the shit, dude. John Wick shit is dope. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> I watched it once, and honestly, I'm fine with never watching it again. Okay. Okay. But his acting is a little bland. He could spice it up a little That's bit. He could put is. some more emotion. He's an action. He's an action man. He doesn't need to talk. He's. A, I'm sure he's a great guy behind the, behind the scenes. Yeah, I feel so. like he's fried, like me, dude. Awesome, you know, dude. like I feel like he's just. He's that guy that he could get on a fucking bus, bro, and nobody will fuck with him. You know what I mean? Oh, clearly not. Yeah, because he knows all that shit for real. So not, yeah, not. like he does all the training for real. Yeah, I'm sure he doesn't even give a fuck about all that, bro. Nobody just talks to him. I've seen videos of him like on a fucking subway, and they're, they're just taking a picture of him. Nobody's bothering him. He just has like a headset. So you think he just goes home and he set up his. A TV and a couch. That's it. I feel the like most simple setup, man setup. Yeah, I feel like his setup's the same setup mine would be. Like a TV, like nothing on the walls. Everything's fucking plain, bro. You got nothing in your room? Hell no, bro. I don't have nothing in my room. Not a photo, not a candle? <laughs> Fuck, no. I don't even have a TV in my room. That shit's just blank. Then again, how often are you there? Considering the job you got. Usually never. But right now, I've had some time at home. And I kind of enjoy it, bro, because like... It's my mind's fucking chaotic. So when I'm in my room, I, the sun hits, nothing like everything's all blank on the walls. It's like a fresh start. And then when I leave my room, that's when I like shit starts getting chaotic. You know? Are you full time with them? Uh yeah, I'm on call too. Oh fuck. So my boss called him like he calls that show, bro. He stays around here still. Yeah, he's uh, in Fontana area, like nice type of Fontana area. Yeah, he's, he's got a nice house, bro. He's, like, 27 with a nice-ass crib, nice car. So none of them, like, live together? They're all just like, doing their own thing? They all got their own cribs. That's what they all got their own cribs now, bro. They're all... I don't know. I was picturing, like, a hype house. I don't know why. I picture, like, they would do something like well, that. we have one. We have our headquarters, our HQ. That's where we all... That's our stream mob headquarters. It's, like, a really nice mansion in, like, Rancho. And what do you guys do there? Business. That's where I go pick up my checks. That's where I, I want to go and smoke. Or I want to kill time. I'll go kick it there. Aiden Ross is there right now, bro. He's at HQ right now. My boss just called me while we're fucking watching Madden. Uh, bro, speaking of Aiden Ross, I fucking saw there was a there was this oh, he got Instagram gone. post. Yeah. Someone on his Discord or whatever, they were posting themselves like smoking fentanyl. That's right. <laughs> that guy likes to fucking party, dude. Like posting just, pictures on his Discord. It. Of smoking, <laughs> fucking smoking it. Fentanyl, bro. bro, he's one of the dudes that's to be stuck down the street like this. You feel me? Oh, he has, like, you can see like the, the cut up bottle and like some tinfoil oh. and shit. See, I would have thought like he torched up a dab, you know, like a pothead, you know. Just... Nah, bro. He went full tweaker with that, with yeah. the fucking two liter. Fuck, bro. He's probably getting some fucking gnarly clouds with that shit. What the fuck does fentanyl even do to you? Fuck, bro, that shit gets you fried. I'm pretty sure I've done it before on accident. <laughs> Why do you say oh that? Like, <laughs> I don't know, bro. Because I've done, I've done some drugs, bro. I'm sure there's been some fentanyl in that shit, bro. <laughs> I'm telling you, bro. No way. bro. I'm the fucking guy that I'll go to a rave or some shit, and I'll have like a cup, and I'll just. You know, just hold my shit out. <laughs> he wants to get roofied. He's like, "We're gonna bless me today, bro." Give me some ice. Give me some ice. Hook it up, dude. You know. Uh, you got like some gay dude in the back, like slipping a fucking. Yeah. <laughs> he thinks he's about to do something, but in reality, like my body's already been through so much. Where like I know how to. Better. Yeah, it's like it just feels like a fucking backwood to the face, you know. See, but the thing is, it's because like whenever people do take drugs that end up having fentanyl, it's. Uh -huh. It ends up being an amount to fucking KO you. Yeah, well, they, wow. they die, yep. Yeah. 
Well, they have fentanyl in hospitals. I know they give out fentanyl in hospitals and shit. It's because that's the real shit. That's that not no Chinese shit, you know. That's right. Chinese shit. We hope you don't get laced with fentanyl. We Absolutely. never want that shit. Bro. Yeah. Absolutely. We hope you never even took it. Yeah, I hope I hope not, but if I did, bro, that shit didn't do nothing to me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck fence and all, bro. Absolutely. Yeah. Fuck fence. Shout, shout out, shout out, shout out, Jim. Yeah. If you're gonna do drugs, bro, smoke crack, bro. Don't do fence and all, bro. <laughs> Our last guest fucking He smoked crack? Does he smoke crack or was it just snort snort coke? Cocaine. Cocaine. Ah, oh, bro, come on now, dude. You ever, you ever done some cocaine? Okay, have I, bro? Cocaine okay. is one hell of a okay. drug, Let dude. Let me ask you this, because our last guest was on here. Yeah. And he said he gets some, like, gay tendencies when he's on coke. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah man, that's gangster as fuck, bro, that guy. How do you feel when you're on it? Uh, bro, I feel like Tony Montana, bro. <laughs> like... I'm like the most powerful man. Bro, I'll do that shit at the at like the top of a suite, bro, in fucking Miami, bro, and just watch the sun go up. And I'll watch Messi come out of Bad Bunny's restaurant, bro, while I'm doing coke. See, so you don't get no gay tendencies? <laughs> yeah, no gay tendencies, bro. Just, yeah. Not even for Messi, bro. I'll see Messi or I'll see Bad Bunny, bro, nah. Do they ever like come to their shows or anything? Yeah, I think I met I met Bad Bunny once at like fucking what was it, bro? It was like Cali Bash Festival or something like that, bro. I met him a long time ago, bro. He was cool. He was a very chill guy. So, like, for me, I feel like if I was, like, around, like, a super famous person like that, I'd get super nervous. That's how I used to think, bro. But then they're just regular-ass people, bro. It's like you talking to me. Um, a lot of the times I can't even take pictures with famous people. Like, my boss will be like, yeah, bro, you can't take fa- pictures with famous people no more. You're with us now. Uh-huh. So, like, there has to be one like very special like stevie williams i met stevie williams and i was like i'm sorry boss like i gotta take a picture that's stevie williams that's dgk right there dude i had to bro i went to go we went to go skate at his fucking little dgk warehouse he's sponsored by like uh that soda brand jaritos you know that mexican he's sponsored by that brand bro to miss orange soda bro hey i pulled up on him he gave me all the fucking jaritos i wanted bro he had like a whole fucking fridge of that shit bro glass bottles fresh ice cold bro bro i drank them and i skated around and air force ones because i didn't think i was gonna kick it with stevie williams that day and he's like here's a board bro push around i I skated his dgk little warehouse bro he's fucking dope dude stevie williams is sick dude that takes it back to the skating days yeah hell yeah back to the og how that's how we even met bro yeah skating dude i i gotta get a board soon yeah hell yeah it was fucking more than 10 years ago bro like what junior high Bro, easily, dude. I still had, I had like a fro. I had long ass hair. And I think you're two years older than me as well. How old are you, Jose? 23. No, I'm 24. So like one year. Okay. Okay. Same shit though. The same shit. You better be 24 right now. About to be 24 right now. 2000, baby. 2000, baby, Uh baby. That's right. I I just turned 24 in January. Damn, you guys are gangsters, dude. (laughs) What are we, millennials or what the fuck? I I say the same thing. That shirt, motherfuckers. The boomers, millennials, Gen Z, Gen X, Gen whatever the fuck. The only boomers I know are from Gears of War, bro, and fucking (laughs) Left 4 Dead, bro. I don't. (laughs) All that shit fucking confuses me, dude. I don't know what we are. I'm a Gen Z. I think we're. I think we're millennials. I'm a Libra, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's all I know, bro, is I'm a Libra. No astrology sign. Yeah. That's good, bro. Like, but you're, uh, that means you haven't been ran through, bro. I'm a so, Capricorn. Your lady's got herself a good man. You don't know your zodiac signs. <laughs> a good ass dude. Hell yeah. I like bro. to think. We just like to kick back and do podcasts. We're not out here doing dumb shit. Th- this is boy shit right here. This is our dumb shit. You know, I saw this like TikTok. This is very productive. I saw this TikTok reel, and it was like, oh, how to make a how to make a fucking podcast nowadays, and it's like one friend that's stupid as fuck, and the other one just agrees with everything, and I was like, that's what we are, and I never went viral. On the fucking button. I've never went viral. Not once. Well, none of you guys are dumb as fuck. You know, we so have you guys are, you, that's where you guys lacked it, probably. Yeah. You guys need a real retard, you know? <laughs> We have, be cool. be cool. we have been getting some hate. We have been getting some hate. You guys have been getting some hate? Yeah, Absolutely. we called some guy at Incel, and he got he took it pretty hard. Who's hating on you guys? Poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> There's this guy. Uh, I was talking about when my when my baby mama gave birth. 
that I complained that I had a headache and like everyone. Bro, that shit had to be fucking dying, bro. They were so. That's some jackass shit, I would say. <laughs> oh, I got a headache, and they're like, bro, come on. I'll be like, my stomach hurts. <laughs> like, <laughs> so this guy, it might be you, bro, because this guy was like, yeah, when my wife gave birth, I was straight and she was, she had all these drugs. <laughs> Who gives a fuck, bro? He, was, he got. When he was on his way to the hospital, he went to go feed his chickens. Yeah. He got his eye poked with a fuck by the beef. Destroyed by the chickens. <laughs> Destroyed by the cock, as it says. Yeah, he got cocked up, bro. Yes, the whole time, he was bitching, and then uh, he finally said, I'm going to the ER, and instead of going to the ER, he went to go get tall boys. Yeah, bar. yeah, that guy's a scumbag, for yeah, sure. So, and then he was like, oh, how come it's always... Like, Who's he to talk shit, bro? What are you he saying? No, dude, I... It's always, it's always about the woman. Like, <laughs> she's the one giving birth, dog. Like, no, dude, it was dude, about, it wasn't even that dude. It was this other dude in the Instagram comments. He was like, he was like, what a pathetic attempt to, to a, oh, a podcast. Oh yeah, this like guy, like, what a pathetic attempt at a podcast. And I, I have like this saying, right? Because I used to be like a professional Twitter troll. Um, what's that? Just troll people on Twitter like a dumb fuck. Oh, oh, fucking professional troll. Yeah, you know, shout like, out to the model boys. For two days. Yeah, shout out to boys. I thought you said Twitter patrol. I was like, yo, what the <laughs> fuck? we working for Elon Musk over here. I'm fucking, hey, I'm hey. fucking being a Todd and shit. Hey, that, that's paying a good salary Probably. right there. Yeah, bro. Absolutely. No, but like, like, I had this saying, like, if someone said, oh, it's my kid's birthday, but they post a picture of them when they're a little ass kid, that kid's fucking ugly now. Yeah. So they don't want to post him what he looks like now. So this kid, it's like a baby picture. I was like, dog, I just know you're fucking ugly. Yeah, kid's and then fucked. like just like what, like a few days ago, he commented, he's like, it's been a month, and I see you guys are still here. Or like, he's like, I still, I still see you still suck. And I was like, he's still watching. And that's what I said, I was like, you're still watching, you clown. Yeah, literally. Fucking keep loser. Really keeping up, dude. You guys are fucking bozo. That shit was funny though. But yeah, this other guy got attacked by a chick, and I called him an incel. And then he yeah. commented again because he saw the post. Yeah. He was like, why are you calling me an incel? That was my second wife. And I was like, yeah, you just sound like an incel, dude. <laughs> Kisses his sister on the lips, dude. <laughs> this scumbag. Nobody cares about your chickens, bro. Nobody. That was funny though. He got stabbed in the eye and he went to go get tall boys and left his girl. That sounds about right. Those the ops right there. I would have cooked that fucking chicken, and I would have brought my fucking wife some fucking bomb ass grilled chicken, bro. Oh, Hell yeah, I'm fresh, bro. Would have plucked the feathers off that little fucker while he's alive. Poke my eyeball out, dude. Yeah, fuck. Boy, the fucker. <laughs> he's saying nah, he's torturing the motherfucker. He tortured me. Fuck that. Yeah, it's true, it's true. fucking just you know self defense, bro. <laughs> self defense. <laughs> Pete is gonna be knocking on your door, bro. Bro, there was a kid, bro, from like uh like around like from my neighborhood, around my neighborhood in Ontario. And he's like from this from this clique, bro. And he went viral because he fucking had a cat and he threw it up in the what? air. You know that guy? Yeah, I mean I didn't know him, but like I knew of him, bro. He was like from around my area, bro. And like he fucking demolished this poor cat, bro. Threw his cat in the fucking air, bro. Poor ass cat, bro. He throws his cat so fucking far. They interviewed him on the fucking news, bro. And he's like, you don't know what that fucking animal did to me. Like, bro, what, is the, what the fuck did that shit do to you? Bro? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on. Cats can be fucking vicious, dude. They're she fucking evil. They're fucking can evil. Be so They're fucking evil. vicious. Bro, she probably knocked over his ex. Box or something, bro. Fuck. I remember my grandpa did that shit one time, and I had the game in there. Fucked the disc up. No. Oh, bro. Fucking broke my heart when I was ten. Was it Halo? Uh, no, it was like uh, it was Gears of War. Ah, oh, oh, shit sucked. That got me angry right there. Not the gears, bro. I was playing that shit earlier on fucking insane. You are you? You love the game or what? Dude, I just, my homie hit me up last night. He was like, hey, bro, I'm going to make breakfast tomorrow. Like, come by, and then we'll just fucking, we'll just game it. So I pulled up, ate a bomb-ass breakfast, and we just did the split-screen campaign on Gears 1. So Gears 1 remastered on Xbox, bro. That sounds so fun. I'm a kid at heart, bro. I, I fucking love Gears, bro. I just recently started getting into video games again, like, heavy. I take, like, these intermittent fast breaks, I guess you can say. Yeah, I feel that. I have my favorites. It's like, ah, fuck video games. I ain't playing shit. And then recently, yeah. i just been on it. I've, I've gotten to know, like, the industry behind gaming, too, because we have our own gaming team, like, Street Mob Gaming. So, like, that's kind of, like, my forte, too, with me and my boss. Like, I'll go and do shit for that, too. And I've met, like, guys from Activision, like, video game creators. You got to give me the, the Instagram or something so I can follow you guys. Yeah, bro. Yeah. And then, um... Street Mob Gaming, how'd that come about? 
Uh, my boss is a big gamer, and then we have our other friend that's um, behind the scenes for Street Mob 2. His name's, uh, we call him Drogas, like drugs. That's his name, drugs. And he's like a really big, like, he's like probably the C, like he's an ambassador for us, bro. He's got a big, like, yeah. big position, yeah. So basically we just started our own gaming team. We got, we flew out guys from uh, Newark, New Jersey. Okay. And my homie Lito, my homie Jeff, their brothers, uh, one of them's a Gears of War pro gamer, bro. They're, they're pretty big time. And so we started that shit off, bro. They plugged us in with Activision. I met the creator of Ghost. He hooked me up with a bunch of shit. Uh, a bunch of shit, bro. Fucking... Dude, we've met some crazy people because of those guys. Shout out to Jeff and Lito, bro. They helped us out a lot, Stream Mob Gaming. We we took Chief Keef's manager out to go... I took Chief Keef's manager out to go get tacos, bro. All of us, bro, in East LA. Did you meet Chief Keef? Nah, just his manager, bro. He brought his, he brought his lady with him, or I don't know who she was to him, but they were all turned up. They ate bomb-ass tacos, bro. We put them on. Have they never been out here, or what? Dog, nah, we were out there at their hood. They have a they have a studio somewhere in East Lowe's. We went to go check that out. Those guys are cool. Right next to Stevie Williams, little DGK shit. That's where Chief Keef's at. I just feel like you just do so much now. It's fucking awesome. Yeah, it's a lot going on. I gotta I have to do a lot of scheduling, bro. A lot of organization or else shit falls apart, bro, you know? So, so you are you like logistics kinda? Everything, dude. Just gotta make sure that my boss is organized. That's what's up. Sounds pretty hectic. Honestly. It can be, bro, but at the same time, it's pretty chill. You just... I'm sure he's got interviews and shit all the time. Yeah, bro. He called me right now. He's like, I'm going to pull up to the podcast right now. I'll be right there. I'm like, bro. I was like, bro, we would love to have you. Like, nah, I'm good. I'm playing Warzone. <laughs> he's playing Warzone, dude. I'll go play with him right now. He's on fucking... I'll go hop on the sticks, bro. I haven't played Warzone bro. in a minute. They got, you got a fat-ass update to download. I promise you, bro. <laughs> that shit's going to be like in like two hours. <laughs> It's been really longer awesome. than that for me, bro. Sometimes it's been fucking nine hours. Yeah, but you got that shitty ass Wi Fi. Like, you're that bad. Fucking yeah, sound Wi Fi. <laughs> for real. Yeah, bro. We got to get on that, dude. You're not the same hoser no more. You're a new hoser. You need that fucking wireless. He can't. He canceled all his subscriptions, too. All and my He's subscriptions. definitely a new hoser. No Netflix, no Hulu, none no, of that. No, no, no Brazzers. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> I, I got. <laughs> I got I got Netflix. Like, hold on, that's too far. I got Netflix. No mofos. Because I had to watch uh, Love on the Spectrum. They released a new season. I had to watch that shit. What's that one about? It's just autistic kids autistic that love each other. <laughs> yeah, autistic people dating. I love that shit. I'm pretty sure there's some. All right, I'm gonna get some fucking shit for this, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm pretty sure that there are some fine ass autistic honeys out there, bro, that just want to play fucking Minecraft, <laughs> you know, or watch trains. <laughs> watch, yeah, watch trains. Watch trains. We can kick back and watch cars or something, you know. <laughs> fucking like something, bro. You would like that shit. Just no conflict. Just yeah. chill and just have somebody there. Yeah, and if she has, if she's any type of angry, at least she has some type of meaning behind why she's angry you know yeah like some that's type of like common sense, sense yeah. you know she's not gonna expect me to read her mind bro she's, she's autistic. autistic date we gotta start dating autistic people yeah. really taken though she probably know. is autistic let's be honest i'm kidding <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, a bad joke a horrible one he's gonna edit it out bro <laughs> he's <laughs> she listens to <laughs> yeah it's all love. It was all, it was all in the name of love. Dude, next time we do this, I'm bringing us a bottle. How's it done drink, dude? That's for y'all, man. You can bring Jose a giant bong, uh, and then I'll drink. I'll Where's it at? Where's it at, dude? No, you have to bring it. He looks fried already. I oh, totally. I 100% have. He's got the Benjamin over there. He's ready. That's right. What, you got a Stizzy? That's it. See, I feel like Stizzy's not enough for you. Yeah, I feel like... Nah, I hit the Stizzy. That shit gets me baked. Does it? Yeah, she gets me baked. Or the plug and play. Oh, those are cool. I like those shits. Those are cool. Because I was telling we got we got a, a friend of ours named Big Mo, and uh, Big Moses. Is he big? Yeah, he's, oh, big. he's big. He's man. big. He's a big dude. He's a good, good guy. I never met him though personally. Like what ass cheek per chair? Big. I'm saying like. I have to say he's pretty big. He's a big ass motherfucker. Big guy. Like. I posted a song on my story and he was like, oh, this is my new smoking song. Yeah. yeah. And then he shows me this giant fucking bag of nugs and I was like, bro, hey. comatose, I'm dead. Even looking at it, like I can't handle. Are, is he more of the smoker and you're more of the drinker? No, honestly, dude. 
I'm a little bit of both. Like I, yeah. I don't really drink much anymore because I used to. Yeah. We used to drink all the time. Yeah, yeah. But I can drink. I can drink pretty good. But yeah. I'm on. He's right. I can drink pretty good. Like not get buzzed at all. And I, one little hit of the Benjamin, I'm fucking dead. I can drink, bro. As long as not no like champagne, bro. I'm not invited to brunches no more. <laughs> Why champagne? Bro, something about me at brunch, I've blacked out at every brunch I've gone to. It's already four brunches. Like, my wow. parents are already... Wow, listen to the ball and bro, it's just my tias are up, still drinking, bro. They're on, like, three bottles deep, and I'm over here blacked out off one. Like, bro, champagne fucking gets you, bro. Yeah, I see. I, I can't handle that. That shit fucks you up. I'm a lightweight. I never had. I've blacked out off that shit so many times, bro. I won't even look at it no more. Yeah, it's because you never know, bro. You just start drinking and drinking and drinking. Uh, tequila, I've blacked out off tequila. I'll still drink it. But champagne is one of those things for you now where you see it. You're like, ah, no They're, way. Nah, not know. even that. I just know it's alcohol? not even that, bro. It's not bad. I could drink it. It's just dangerous, bro. Like, you don't know until it's too late. Yeah, it just slow. hits you. Yeah. It, it, it fucking jujitsu slap. It gets you good. Such into my... I've seen a jiu-jitsu match where some guy's trying to do, like, a fucking heel hook. I think this guy named Damien, he's from B-Team Jiu-Jitsu, and this guy's trying to heel hook him, and you're just standing over him, and he just fucking open palms him and knocks him the fuck out, bro. Don't try to do leg locks in a street fight. Why? Because you're going to get punched in the fucking head hard. <laughs> when it's a pull out a gun. Oh, dude. This is exactly why he doesn't get in street fights. Yeah, exactly. Avoid all conflict. Always, bro. He sees the hoe get beat, avoid all conflict. Let her get beat. She's going to get back with him tomorrow. Facts. Honestly, he's speaking facts. Bro, I've had Look at the track record. Yeah, dude, I've had a time where me and my boy were at Haven City Market, and I tried to stop a guy from fighting, like, like beating on his girl. Uh-huh. And then, like, I got into a physical altercation with him, bro. I, like, choked him out, had him in the most nastiest guillotine. And his fucking wife came from behind me and, like, clawed my fucking face, bro. I was like, yeah. I just fucking helped you. Yeah, bro. That's why I'll never do that again. I'm like, yeah, no. What that shit? See, that's kind of, like, why the kid threw the cat up in the sky. Because, like, you it's so know. fucking dangerous. He didn't throw it in the sky. He launched it. Hit bro, he fucking Whoa. catapulted that shit. Like, I, I, it, it was spinning in the air, bro. Yeah, like a helicopter. Yeah. No, it was a cat. It was a cat. Full size cat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was probably, like, mid-aged, you know. Yeah, that boy's strong, too, for throwing that cat that hard. Bro, that guy probably... That guy should join the army, dude. <laughs> For real, I don't have the art. I don't have the heart for that shit, bro. Did your brother ever throw a cat? The brother's in the army. He's in the army. Infantry. Nah, that was a plumber. That's right, in the army. Fuck yeah, he's a plumber. He's that guy is, makes good fucking money, bro. He's enjoying life. He loves it. He's in Germany right now. Does he have a Camaro? In Germany? Nah, hell nah. Damn. He has a he has a little beater car. That's right. He's about it, man. He knows what's up. He's in Germany, bro. He loves it, dude. I like bro. Never, bro. I want to though. I we're, there's talks about us going to like London and shit this year. How's the fandom in in Europe and all those areas? Bro, like Spain and shit goes nuts for us, bro. A lot of people go nuts for us, yeah. And then we have like songs with Marshmallow now, so like we're getting a lot of we're getting a lot of play out there, dude. Yeah. A lot of EDM type thing. Yeah, bro. We did I EDC. Know, know, like Marshmallow too? Yeah. We did uh, EDC fucking Mexico City or some shit like that. Like last year. And that shit was insane, bro. See, like it's crazy because like they're so big that I'm white, right? And I got I got a good amount of their songs on my playlist. I got a playlist with like 2,000 songs on it. There, oh, yeah, There's bro. some in there, bro. Yeah. They yeah. make good music, bro. Puro Fuerza Regida. Did I say that right? Orale. Yeah, hell yeah, my boy. You might be more Mexican than Hoser over here, dude. Yeah, I've actually had to ask him how to say some shit, and he's like, wow. Yeah, sometimes, sometimes I just don't know what I'm saying. Google's your best friend, bro. Fuck that, dude. I'm trying to fuck with somebody, and I spill some dumb shit. You you want to know how you get better at speaking Spanish, bro? You you listen to Spanish music. I listen to Spanish music. I listen. Uh, I, got a, I got hella fucking Hispanics at work. The thing is, I can understand it, like, pretty fucking well. Yeah. And then I can respond, but very short. I can't, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. N- not very well. But you can, you, you can like, you know enough to converse. Exactly. So, like, if I know, like, when the... Like, we'll have meetings at work, right? And they're all talking in Spanish. And then they'll say English. I'm like, nah, just stay in Spanish. Well, you got to this Madre sweater, dude. That's fucking gangster. Oh, that's what's up, man? They're fire. You like this Madre? Yeah, man. You know what that shit means? It doesn't mean like you like having fun. Like you like, or, or is it like fuck. This mother is just like I. I like the bullshit. Like yeah, yeah. I like. I like the. 
Like a shit show. Yeah, like I love it. Like <laughs> you like getting drunk and shit, you know? I'm toxic. I'm gonna give you my hoodie, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get one, I'll get one. No, Does that guy have his own brand or what? That's no, his it's, brand? It's a band. Oh, that's a band. But they they just closed the website down because they, they just sold out. No. no, it's it's called hardcore. Yeah, I think you'd I think you'd like them. They're pretty cool. Dash, yeah, yeah, they're dope ass hardcore band from uh from LA. Sick as fuck. I like LA, bro. There's a lot of good fucking food in LA. I I for a while I was talking shit about LA because I was like, dude, LA zombie land, bro. Like, and then, was San Francisco. and then I went to SF. I was talking to your boy out there about it right now. I was like, bro, SF's the first place I've ever seen someone shit on a window. Yeah, dude, I, I had the same fucking experience. <laughs> the same God. fucking experience, bad, bro. We, uh, we went up there for a trip in like 21. Yeah, 21. Uh, 21 yeah. Do you guys take a train out there? You guys drove. We fucking drove. Train train would have been a good idea. That's like six hours, seven hours. It was like Long seven hour drive. Yeah. So now we drove up to Santa Cruz, stayed in Santa Cruz. Yeah. And like a, a day later, we drove up to the Redwood Forest. Oh, yeah, that shit was probably dope. That was another six hours up. Did you bring a board with you? Nah, it wasn't snowing at the time. Uh, Dan had to get a skateboard if I'm gonna go to SF again. See, like I tried skateboarding when I was young. Oh. I- I'll stick a snowboard. No, oh, skateboard, bro. Come on now, champ. Nah, dude, I wasn't even skating at the time. I'm not, I'm done with skating, too, yeah. bro. I'm done with that stuff. I, I said I was done, but I started thinking, like, I got a lot of off time at the hotels and stuff. Oh, that'd be- where I just want to cruise around a city, bro. I mean, Get a yeah. little cruiser, like a Zip Zinger or something. Yeah, those are sick. I'll cruise around on one of those, but, like, as far as going to the park and everything, yeah, I'm not about it no more. My ass, bro. Too much for me. Up. I'll break my I'll break my ankles. Bro, jujitsu hurts already. Bro. Oh yeah. Well, you, well, you see, but you you you'll be sore if you keep consistent. You won't be sore anymore. You know that shit already. Yeah. You already know that shit. Or skating, bro. If you get broke, you get fucking broke, dude. I've sacked the ten rail at Upland bad one time. Yeah, that's not really dude. That'll put how 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 much does put you out? <sighs> Fuck. I got back up and I skated it again. Oh. But, like, I was a kid, bro. If I did that shit now, my fucking... Oh, there'd be... Yeah, bro, there'd just be jizz everywhere. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like someone threw a gallon of milk on yeah, your My shit would just <laughs> pop, dude. Fuck. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> Imagine the bruise you'd get. It'd literally be coming all the way up. Oh, that happened to me one not time. Sack. I was riding the... Uh, crotch. I fucking crashed no. into a car when I was on a bike. And the handlebar like went this way, like right in. Dude, oh, everything was purple down there. I was like, like Johnny Knoxville, bro. The same thing happened to Johnny Knoxville, bro. He like his handlebars broke on his dick, and it broke his dick and shit. I didn't break my dick, but it was definitely dark, dark purple down there. Fuck. But all those dudes, they keep doing it. They're all old, dude. Yeah, bro. Especially Johnny Knoxville, bro. It. He's he's a silver fox. Is he still doing it? He's, they're still doing well. The old, the newest movie that came out, he's all gray hair. That's true. That's out. true. I like that one guy, bro. That new guy that they have on their team, that fat guy. Oh, oh yeah, I, I think Zach Holmes is. Yeah, he's like a comedian now, no? Yeah. Bro, he doesn't give a fuck, bro. He did almost not like ninety percent of all the most painful stunts, bro. <laughs> that guy was the. He was definitely like, he was skater of the year on that one, bro, for sure. He was Sody. I like Dark Shark. What's Dark Shark? Who's Dark Shark? Oh, isn't that someone's dad? Jasper's dad. Yeah, Jasper's dad. When they scare him, what do they scare him with? The snake? They scared him with a a bear, I think. It was some shit, but he was shitting a brick full. Snakes, I think. Was it snakes? Yeah. Because Bam on Jero was scared of snakes, too. Uh Wonder what happened to that guy. That guy's fucking loony bin. Yeah, he became alcoholic, but I guess he's better now. I hope so, man. He's losing all his friends right now. Well, he's he trying to he lost sue jackass them. and everything. Yeah, right? like, even Steve will put, like, a video out. And yeah. he was like, hey, like, I know we're not cool, but if you need help, reach out to me. And then he left it at that. I'm pretty sure he took that offensive as fuck. Probably. Why post that shit on the internet? <laughs> like, to, to tell him yourself, right? You probably got his number, huh? Probably. steve is cool. I fuck with steve That's my, like... Mm. That's like when I know like I'm partying too much. When I hit that Stevo level, I'm like, all right, bro, I should probably kick it. Stevo level is insane, bro. I'll never reach that level, thank God. (laughs) See, and I recently saw a picture. You know that infamous Stevo level where that Stevo level picture Uh where he's kind of like leaning over, his mouth is all dry, he has all those cans in the Uh background. Well, it's like nowadays. That shit's been going viral. You see people's cars flooded with those fucking cans. What, is, what are those, like, the whippets? Yeah. yeah. Whippets. What does that do? I heard it's, like, Nas. Like, it just hits you like a Nas balloon. Oh, so, like, five five minutes, that's it? Yeah, and then it, that's it, bro. I never fucked with that shit. I had a homie that died because he, he got really depressed and, like, hit the Freon. And I was like, yeah, bro. F- yeah, I'm not even going to inhale. Like, if it's not weed, I'm not going to inhale it, bro. Or, like, the vape or some shit. 
This shit's probably bad as fuck too, bro. Oh, this fuck bad. yeah, this shit's probably. Terrible. Do you think you're addicted to it? Oh, bro, this shit has me by the fucking ball sack. <laughs> At least you know. I could never smoke those, dude. It, like every time I try to hit it, <coughs> I take the little bitches hit. Bro, we tried the the little Zen patch, the <laughs> Zen pouches <laughs> on the pot. Those, bro, I'll pop a Zinny for sure. Oh my god, <laughs> it, yeah, we, it well, went we popped, south. We popped a double decky, and he threw up all over himself. All, all over the myself. Oh, oh man. that shit was funny. All over myself. Bro, I've popped a fucking, I've popped a a one, or I've popped a double upper decker, bro. <laughs> That one was rad. Those I, are we had it right here, dog. and then we'd never done like nicotine or nothing like that. Yeah. And the guy was like, "Oh, you can just swallow. It's all good." And we're like, "Okay, it's just because I thought you were supposed to spit this." Shit you out. swallowed the fucking pack? No, no, you oh. swallowed the saliva. <laughs> I was about to say, bro, that's how they got the kids with the Tide Pods. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> For real? No, they got them when they got the kids to put them in their fucking mouths. No. Yeah, that was foul as fuck. <laughs> that was foul, bro. The Tide Pods are fucked. Did you ever see that? Uh, did you ever see that when Mean Holzer did the? Uh, the one chip challenge no was that bad I'm that's terrible right. terrible you know they stop making that <laughs> yeah that's would, what would uh, people start dying off of it uh, I don't know but they said that because too many under under 18 people were getting it people some, it, people some bitches if they started dying let me say that there was probably like 15 year old kids and their appendix were just bursting because they try the one chip challenge every fucking week I have yeah <laughs> yeah so like when I tried it I was screaming like a bitch. I was like, oh yeah, my god. I was like, get the fucking, get me, give me water. Bro, imagine doing the fucking hot ones challenge. Bro. I w- uh, that's actually, or should you know we say what? it? Should we say it? Or should I not say it? It's funny that you say that. Yeah, episode 100 is hot ones challenge. You guys are going to do the hot ones? Yeah. We're going to do the hot my, ones. My girl bought bro. me the, the thing for, for my birthday. Yeah, she blessed you, dude, huh? Yeah, so you got to have some good wings for that shit, though, bro. And what wings would you pick? Flats? Like or- what? Oh, actually, yeah. First of all, I like drums, dude. I would fuck up drums all day. I so, can see that. So, what wings from which pizza establishment, or what wing? Place? Where are you getting wings from? Fuck. Where are you getting wings from? You'd have to get plain wings, right, yeah. so that you can put the sauce, bro. I'd probably go to like. You guys got the Haven City Market right there. You guys can go to fucking Fire or Fire oh, Wings. Nice. That place yeah. is good. No, it's, it's like, like it's, in the corner of the building though, super hidden. Yeah, you know the Haven City Market? Yeah, yeah. I've been it, there before, it's but. like a wing spot inside of there. But I've only been to like I've been there like three or four times, but I've only gone to one specific spot. You don't take a hose you time. don't take a hose out, hoser? Um no nah, man. Hell no. Nah. Oh, dude. I'll go out nowhere, brother. You gotta take some hose out, man. You know, they they could pay for themselves, but you gotta go get some fire wings, dude. <laughs> just, just me and my girl, baby. Just, oh, you have a girl. Yeah, you have a girl. Okay, take your girl out to Fire Wings, dude. But whenever we go to the Haven City Market, it's always there, that same spot. Yeah, but what spot? It, I don't know the name of it. It's just some fucking... Is it a burger spot? No, it's shrimp boil spot. Oh, okay, okay. I know where that's at. It's like in the corner. It's right next to like a bartending area in the corner. I like that little I don't know corner. They got called. a bunch of beer and shit. Bro, I'll get fucking Long Islands. Like, I'll get like five Long Islands there and bro, get sauce. Yeah, Long Island there? Yeah, how, yeah, they have... It's a bar. It's like a bartender in the corner. Yeah, yeah but I thought it was just beer. To the fucking, I thought it was just <clears throat> beer. Oh, bro, they have everything, dude. You if they're if they're real bartenders, they got everything. Bro, I'll get whiskey on the rocks, bro. Like an old man, and I'll just drink like four of those. Holy fuck, those are good. I like whiskey, bro. I'm a whiskey kind of man. I got some Japanese whiskey in the fridge. Bring it out, dude. What's up? You like it just straight like that? Yeah, some ice. Always been a bitch with the taste, kind of. Uh, I, but that's why it's a sipper. It's not like a taking a. Do you just down it? Nah, bro. I sip on it, yeah, bro. I'm kick it. Should, should we have Dylan drink a fucking Japanese whiskey on the pod? I mean, see, so usually the camera dies at like an hour and a half. Is it about to die right now? No, no, no. It's that one behind you. Got a little time. We got like twenty minutes. We, we can. I'll get a Japanese whiskey in the rocks with you after. Did right, you want to go eat with us? We were gonna right, go eat after. You guys want to go eat? I just fucked up a fat ass soup, but I'll go kick it with y'all. Fat ass soup, bro. What kind of soup? Uh, chicken noodle soup. Oh. My dad made it himself. Oh, it was probably so good. It was probably so good. I've been preparing for chicken noodle soup for a while now, specifically the one for Sprouts. Yeah, Sprouts got good chicken noodle soup. I don't even know if they have it anymore, dude. You haven't seen it? I haven't seen it in forever. We wanted to ask you some questions before this was over. Shoot. You want to ask the first one or you want me to ask the first Shoot. one? And I, I have the paper here. I wrote it all down. Shoot, man. I'm an open book. Who is your hero? My biggest hero? And why? And why? Fuck. Mm. Or like a role model. The most inspiration person. 
fuck, man, that's a hard one. Probably, probably Dylan Reader. Fucked a Dylan Reader a lot, pro skater back in the day. He died. That guy was sick as fuck. He uh, he got me into like caring more about like style wise. Okay. So now like I'm not walking around in fucking Costco gear. You know? That dude had a, the gnarliest style. That guy was sick, bro. He had all the bitches, bro. He was a model, dude. He was skating, like, tap dancing shoes. Everybody was hating on him. And then all of a sudden, everyone loved that shit, bro. And he died. I was like, bro, where was the love when he was alive, you know? Yeah. That seems to happen a lot, though. Yeah, that guy was sick. He was ahead of his time, for sure. Fuck with that guy. Dylan Reader. Yeah, RIP that guy. RIP wow. for sure. When did he die? Uh, he's, uh... He died from, like, a cancer, bro. He got, like, a really mean cancer. And he was into partying, too. He was taking pills and shit, bro, you know. Living that model life. He was... Time. It was around, like, what, 2018-ish? When he died, yeah. Some, oh. Somewhere around there, I think. Yeah, that guy's OG, though. He was OG for sure. That's pretty awesome. I'm pretty sure people were expecting me to say, like... <laughs> like My fucking, dad. Like, some other shit, bro. Not Dylan Reader. I, I wasn't expecting that, either. Yeah. I, I don't even know what I was expecting. I, did, I have never even asked myself that question, so that was, that was really cool. That was, it, and he said it pretty it's damn quick, too. that you popped up with that answer. Yeah, so yeah I thought right? about it. I was like, yeah. And our last question. We're going to ask these to all our guests, too. You could, you could ask a million of them, bro. I'm not going nowhere. Shit, I'm kind of fucking retarded. So I didn't think of that many. But me, um, too. If, uh... If you had to talk to yourself, past or future, who would you talk to and what would you talk to them about or ask them? What do you mean, like... So, like, say, like, you were a time traveler, right? Yeah, and I got to talk to anyone. And you, you it had to be yourself. So yeah. if you had to talk to yourself, would you want to talk to your past self or your future self? And what would you talk about? Oh, one conversation, that's it. Probably, uh, shit, bro. I'd probably talk to my past self, bro. What would you talk about? Just tell myself, like... You don't have to feel like this sense of guilt all the time because I lived just a sense of guilt my whole life for no fucking reason. I wouldn't do no bad shit, bro, but I just always had guilt. Yeah. So you can't just tell yourself to chill out. Yeah, bro, like, don't worry. About, it's all good. Don't worry about these bitches being mad at you. Uh, you know? That was cool. That was a good answer. I like that. That was our first time doing that. That was some beautiful answers. Loaded questions, bro. Come with loaded answers. Yeah. I wish I had more questions. We're kind of retarded. Okay, ask for titties. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Fuck, bro. <laughs> <clears throat> ass is mandatory, bro, but I feel like every man loves titties, bro. For sure. Titties. For sure. I, I don't know what I like more, bro. I like, I like titties, but I like ass, too. That's a hard one, man. That's probably the hardest question I've been asked in a while. Nice. nice. I'm sure you've, you've seen your fair share on tour and everything. Yeah, I don't like fake shit either. Like, I don't like no BBLs. I don't like fake boobs. I hate fake boobs. That you got a BBL. What? I have one, bro. That's for me. <laughs> <laughs> the girls can't have them, bro. When are the dudes going to start coming out with BBLs? Does it feel different? Shit. We need that. What? Like fake tits. It just looks fucking odd, bro. Like, we know an imposter when we see one, like... <laughs> those are some fake titties. Those are fake. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, a girl that's trying to be a guy, like, we... Oh, we, no. We know you're a fucking guy, dude. Look at the knuckles. I never even thought of that. Look at the knuckles, homie. If her Typically, knuckles it's look, the Adam's apple, no? Look at it. Bro... But that, see, I don't have a pronounced Adam's apple. Yeah, you see what I mean? You can hide that shit. I can be a You woman. can't hide the knuckles, man. If her knuckles look fucking like... Like she could chop some wood. <laughs> that's how you know, bro. And teach their own. If you like that shit, you like it, you know? But you're not gonna fool me, girl. Jeff, huh? <laughs> yeah. You're not gonna fool me, bro. <laughs> All right, you guys ready? Let's, let's sign out. I'm ready to go. Cool. Donkey, you want to plug yourself? Anything? You want to plug anything? Say anything you want right uh, now. Bro, Bonky TV on Instagram. And yeah, bro, that's pretty much it, bro. Shout out to all the homies. It was yeah. a pleasure being with you, being here with you, bro. Hell yeah. Meme Lord, fucking. Seeing you again. It was a pleasure, dude. We got to kick it more. Pressure. It's fucking great. It's awesome. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. Thanks that's for having awesome. me, guys. Uh, Instagram and everything at Daddy's Dungeon Pod. And I think we're ready to go. Let's sign off. Peace, y'all. Right.